Heinz Boy Garage is the show to watch. If you don't like me, you can suck a- In a world where your favorite YouTuber is horribly inconsistent at uploading videos. Fuck you, 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 <laughs> Well, I'm all ready to go to Nevada. I've got my car hard on and stuff. So I went to go start the Tahoe and it gave me the old Wah! 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 Oh! So, I'm just sitting here. I cried for help and nobody has come and helped me yet. So I'm just gonna sit here and uh, Eat some Cheez-Its. <laughs> Happy New Year! What's up dudes? I'm still here at home. And the Tahoe's still dead. And I guess a water line broke at my dad's house and there's no water. And he is frustrated so I'm probably just gonna stay here today. I don't want to get in his way or cause any distress so... I'm just gonna sit here and... Drink a soda pop and edit a video. Bye. All right, so we are back on track for today. It's Monday and it is now 1.20 in the afternoon. So this is my dad's Tahoe for those of you who don't know. And I'm driving this because I haven't swapped the engine in the Mazda yet. I don't even know. I don't think I've even shown you guys the Mazda. I totally thought I did. Well, you know what? Now on the way to my dad's garage to work on my other Mazda, I'll show you, I'll stop by the storage unit and show you the Mazda that I bought that needs an engine that is going to be my daily, which is why I don't have a daily right now. So this doesn't really do it much justice because I'm not getting out and it's covered in snow, but it's pretty clean. I mean, it's got no rust. There's like a little ding on the door, and then it's got the same freaking dent that my other Mazda had, except for this one's not nearly as bad. I'll probably try to pop that out. But it's super clean. It's got some stupid freaking little stickers there and there on the mirrors and the door. Need to take those off. Uh, but yeah, I'll post a picture of what this looks like when there's not snow on it. And then I will also post a picture of what it looked like when I bought it, which was freaking horrible. But it needs a head because this head that's on it is cracked and it is a 2.2, a 2200, so it's got the 2.2 liter and I've got my spare from my other drift truck. So we're just going to put that one in there because I know everything on that one works. We are cooling down for the day. I really got nothing done today. I took the... Well, the upper control arms are already off, but I took out the little center section in them. This little thingy, if you're familiar with these old school, old school upper control arm mounts. So I think I'm gonna reuse those and just use a heim joint that goes over this and then put a nut on it. But the brakes are sitting in there. That was weird how I said that. The, bra the brakes are sitting in there. They clear the P45s a lot better than the works, but Oh well, the works are more cool, so. Yeah, those are giant, I like that. I'll come back when I know what I want to do with these control arms. So that could be tomorrow, it could be Wednesday. So we'll just see you whenever that day happens and I'll probably have uploaded a video that you can watch in the meantime. Peace. Heinz Boy Garage here. 
We're in the garage of the Heinz boys. I'm gonna complain about it being cold again because it's fucking cold. But I'm here. That is the important part. I have been itching to work on this thing, but it has literally been negative 20 degrees outside, so that sucks. But today, I needed to come here so I could measure the length of threaded tube, I guess, threaded tube, like to connect my two heim joints for the upper control arm. So I came here, I'm gonna do some work, I'm gonna measure that, I'm gonna order that, then I can actually finally get to these control arms. Okay, so the reason it has to be bolted up here as well is because if I had both of these ends welded with no joint, then I couldn't get my control arm off of this little dewy bob here, so I had to think of a way to do that. And I wanted it to be adjustable with the spin of the unit. I didn't want to have to unbolt it, spin it out, and then put it back on to change my camber or anything. Okay guys, let's get to work. Sometimes you just gotta get creative so you can get the shot for the YouTubes. Yes, drawing straight lines on some rubber diamond plate is probably the best idea. So I am just measuring from the threads because the threaded rod I need I need to know how long it's gonna be so I need to start from where the threads start and I need to have some room for adjustment and yes I could just do this by measuring but I'm a very visual guy and I need to I need to see that shit So this part is accurate because the heim joint I will be using is this exact size and this side is not accurate because it'll be a clevis so it'll actually be shorter from the center of the mounting point to the threads. So this thread will actually move out right now from here to this point right here is about six and three eighths and unfortunately the shortest size they make is seven which is right here so i'm sure i can get it and trim off the ends a little bit if i have to or i can move this mounting point out because as you saw on the plate i had it close to the edge so if i have to i can move it out and i can trim it short if i have to but i think seven inches will work holy shit! So now I kind of have to replicate this, but not completely, because now there is a new type of ball joint which is going to be odd to work around. But right now I am just throwing around ideas for the design and I think I just might mock something up quick and we'll be back in a second. So I marked this out to an inch and three quarters. So when I stick this inch and a half inch tube on there, I have some room to weld it on the sides there. Oh, daddy. That's some hand notching at its finest right there, boy. Hello. I am back. I have returned today. It is actually Saturday, even though the last two days have been combined in filming. There was a pretty severe injury at my work, so the plant was shut down for two days. So now I'm here and it's Saturday and it feels like Sunday. So yesterday you saw that I did the start of the lower control arm. What else did I do? I did this. This is what I did. Now that I put the coilover back in, you can't really see it, but I smoothed out all this stuff and I cut off the uh, upper control arm bump stops or or max limiter stops, whatever you want to call them, and then I ground down the factory welds and made them look a little bit better. It didn't really want to weld great. 
so this is not accurate because the wheel is not in the right spot and the front's jacked up, but what the control arm will be is these two heim joints and then off of this tube here I'll have like some little some little tabs, some really thick tabs. I think this is three eighths wide. And then this will bolt to here. I don't know if I can get this all in one frame. God damn it. Like that. And then there will be a threaded rod between these two. This is left hand, that is right hand. So I'll be able to like make camber caster adjustments super easy without having to take the even the bolts off for this or the nuts or whatever or the bolts off for this. I'll just have to break the jam nuts loose and go bloop 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 like a tie rod. Hello, we are sitting in my Mazda here getting it warmed up ready to go to work and I was just editing this video that you are currently watching and I realized that this content is very unstructured. So this is kind of just the ending to the video to wrap it all up. And yes, it was all over the place because I changed my mind on what I wanted to do with these control arms about five times. I think I built three control arms and the fourth one was the one that I liked. So it's not typical, it's just that that's how it went this time because these control arms have been taking forever. So in the next video, you can look forward to a couple things. The control arms are on their way to being done. I will post a little teaser picture right here, or right here maybe. Maybe I'll put something else up over here to distract you from the picture that's actually down here that you're supposed to be looking at. But yeah, so we'll see you there in the next video and I hope you enjoyed. Peace!